Simani Kenyanza Moa, I did a city in a Yamukama, a moon page in any Yasingo Quagala. Kubanga can call it the Sina Kenyanza Gamba, who was San Rio, the Indibubi, no, 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 singing a Mukwata Komungalo. Wapla Mukama and Abba to what do you love? The Sanga and the Musinka and the Muguako, which for the Muguako and Mungalo, and the Musani Pujan called it the neighbors and a moment now. Banji Bazze, never to Kiriza. Only Naja, Nessan Vaziba, when there was a Koraji, the Vazilia, Nens and Beba Zemiti, Madame Mirunji, the Musabolo Kotu Kirize, the Jababa Kumia, the Chikolebo, the Gamana Mumbebaza, and Mumbeba in you, never did it. I want to have a single when you never to Kiriza. Uh, I, I don't I don't wanna promise but tell her that the problem will be solved soon. <laughs> Mulabango mwana omuto naye ayino mutimo omulonjo kwa kolodi okusinga abakuru abataina mutima ijwe emirunji hakende na gumo maso kama muwangaze amina making the video on mama uganda is one of the toughest videos that i've ever made if you don't know who mama uganda is mama uganda is a ugandan with 44 children unbelievable but the first time i visited her her living condition was not something to be proud of was not something that i felt like i need to put on camera to the extent that this whole video i was down most people who watches my videos knows that anytime i'm shooting a video i'm so hyped up the energy please I need energy. <laughs> <laughs> but this video I was extremely down. Because when I saw the environment, when I saw the living condition, when I saw the food they were eating, when I saw everything that was happening, I felt like she needs help. Even though at that moment, I had nothing. My bank account was empty. But I've always been telling you guys, I am not a YouTuber. I am just a guy on a journey to celebrate every single African. And if I have the power to change anything, I'll use it. And that's why I always come in here to say, thank you for believing in the dream. Thank you for accepting to follow an annoying village boy like me. That's what she does. And if I want to change something, know that I don't want to change things all by myself. I want to change things with you because without you, what a Maya is nothing. Whatever Mama Uganda is saying, I did not do it. All I did was to use my influence to do it. Uh, so we are back at Mama Uganda's home and I'm here with an engineer. Uh, kindly introduce yourself and tell us why you've joined me for this trip today. Okay, madam, thank you very much. So you're talking to engineer Umar. We are here at Mummy's place to see what is much needed to be worked on. You all know that having 44 children, including 10 grandchildren, it's going to be extremely tough to feed all of them. So we have to start whatever we have to do for her by bringing food. I mean, food over everything, right? So this is the rubbish pit. Umari, tell us what you think we should do here. So we have to remove all this rubbish, then we dig here a hole whereby it will be constructed. Mm -hmm. Then after collecting that rubbish there, it, it can be burnt. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, understood. Then another issue we talk about the renovating all these verandas. Yes, yeah, so, so we've seen the main house and those other three houses. So what are we going to do for these other ones here? Uh, these ones, just only the verandas, they are needed to be renovated mm -hmm. plus painting. 
so veranda's painting uh, and, and the roofing yes. and the roofing as well yes okay even another issue of this i've seen this one it has no glasses we need oh, to fix okay. them mm. such that it looks good even constructing the veranda here mm. yeah that's okay it. thank you so much oh come on So we've finished to look at Mama's house uh, together with my colleagues and the engineer. We've established that we shall need 25 uh, new decas of 3 by 6 in size. Four decas are to be repaired. Four decas are in good condition. But each and every deca needs new beddings, new mattress, new blanket and bed sheets. So we shall need a total of 66 mattresses of 3 by 6 to cover all the decas. And then one mattress for mama, obviously. We've also established that the homestead has a total of 15 rooms. Uh, these are bedrooms, which, ac which accommodate approximately 65 people, including Mama Uganda and her kids and grandkids and in-laws. <laughs> Then we've also established that there is a living room and a dining room that they have, which also needs dining table and dining chairs. Yeah, so we're going to do that as well. So, yeah. When we come to the toilets. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, they the are toilets, also not yeah. good. Yeah. We need to renovate them. So mm -hmm. we are going to remove this one. Mm -hmm. Then we construct another. Yes, we are going to break it. So you're going to break the toilet and yes. the bathroom? Yes. Yeah, and construct we'll another construct one? construct another one. Okay. Even where and then how about this drainage? Yes, we have to dig another drainage where mm -hmm. this water is going to be... Draining from. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then we are, when we come to the compound, yes, it yes, also compound. needed to be worked on well, mm -hmm. whereby we shall be getting the concrete, mm -hmm. then we work on the compound, so when you say, are you talking about putting concrete in the entire compound? Yes. When I came here the last time, when I saw the condition of where they sleep, these are no mattress. Well, it's a mattress according to her. <laughs> Do they want the mattress to be changed? I wasn't a man who was in the forest, but she was in the forest. I was in the forest. And I had to do all I can to change them. So guys, we are back to Mama Uganda's home. It is a very, very beautiful uh, Friday morning. It's actually Good Friday. And we have a very, very big surprise for her. So let me start with what I'm holding here. We know she had a challenge of cutting hair for the kids. So she was spending around 40,000 every week. So I want to show you guys actually about her a machine. Because look at all these kids. There are very many and you have to keep cutting their hair all the time. So uh, this was her pressing need. That's what she told us so yeah we got this for her so <laughs> she's super excited and obviously uh, these are the mattresses that we managed to get for them so uh, so analongo eno ye machine eh yokusala mviri neyazi samneyazi kemwe wali mwe wali dekala Nalongo, what the Maya Jawano, eh? Omjukila, where to a Jana and Agamba or Ajakoma or Kurapesians or Zoko, Omjukila Mamo, eh? So Yaku, what there's no mattress, Nagamba, Gwenavana, at least to Mueva Kakovulunji. Sanayas, the common never is a new guy in Nalongo, Sanyo, Nyo, 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 Mucho natural natural nature in Colored Dolor, a little Muneva is a new Mugambi Nalo, Gomasanu Funyo, Yeans, Yeans, Ege, Yevali, no, Yevali de Dara, Lacovasmani Ruzongo, Nena, I had the more Zongo. Right here is the material that we are going to use to renovate uh, this place. We so far have some sand and uh, some bricks. We've also bought a uh, cement as well. Uh, tomorrow morning, the workers will start, you know, working uh, very early. So we shall be back here tomorrow. Yeah. But just wanted to show you what's going on so far. I want 
to give you an update. So the renovation is happening as we talk right now. So they start by working on the verandas as you see here. That's what they are doing. And of course they first put new bricks, did the cement. So they are smoothening everything out. This is the place where they're mixing from a drum of water. Same here, working on the verandas first. So this gentleman is going to create a place where to put the rubbish together. That's why he's digging. So want to, cause right now it's exposed, it attracts a lot of flies. So I'm going to construct it, construct it very nicely so that they can easily burn the rubbish over the time and also sort it as well. Yeah. So, uh, so far so good. Uh, we are very excited to see how the final picture is going to come out. This is how far we've come with our support and I wish we can do more. It's a beautiful Monday afternoon. We are back to Mama Uganda's home and together with Wodemaya support, I want to show you guys what we've done to make our place look better. So right now we are in the front yard. Remember the saloon that I told you guys? So we're able to paint it, buy a door for it as well. The door is fresh and still drying up. Uh, there is a little bit of the sun, someone is playing here, but when we are doing the finish up, then we shall definitely use this sun to continue the project. We did work on the painting as well, plus the floors. The floors look way, way better. Tell me what you guys think, but the veranda looks a lot, lot better than it was in the beginning. So let's walk into the backyard and I show you guys what else that we did. So right here, we do have the place uh, for the rubbish. Uh, this place was not looking too good the last time we checked it, but it looks a lot uh, better right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, Mama Uganda is here. No longer. Who's the car want to? <laughs> Mama Uganda is here. She's going to say hello. But who's the car want to? But Who's the co but how are you? you So these houses, we did the painting as well, uh, the verandas as well. You can see they look a lot better. Plus this other side as well, it was also painted. Yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think so far, if you think there is quite a difference. So same with this room as well, we still did a painting to make it look better, worked on the veranda as well. The reason why the verandas were a priority is because they use this as a sitting area. We actually, they actually do sit here all the time because there are very many and the living room is small, so that's why the veranda was a priority. We just focused on the key areas which needed immediate attention, so this was one of them. And then we come to the bathrooms or their washrooms. So they have two washrooms. We only worked on one because this was really, really badly off compared to the other one. But come guys, let me show you. We redid the walls, uh, did the painting. We redid the floors as well. It looks a lot, lot better than it was here. Uh, let me know what you guys think so far, but I mean, it looks a lot, lot better. It's not up to the standard, but it's a lot better than it was, guys. Yeah. So come and I show you another part. So Mama Uganda had it kept and she wanted us to put it to secure the kids, make sure that the kids are easily monitored and they're not running out. So they were able to put it here for her. So now the kids can't easily run to the neighbor's place here. And then let's come here. This is another room where the kids sleep. So if you look here, guys, we actually put brand new iron sheets. If you guys can look up over there. Uh, over the kitchen, we put new iron sheets plus that other bedroom as well. We redid the painting. So, And then when we turn to the main house, when we turn to the main house, you can see it looks a lot uh, better. Guys, we redid the painting as well and worked on the veranda as well because once again, this veranda does a very, very big purpose. It's a dining table, it's a sitting area. So this was a priority to work on here. Yeah. 
I really wish we can do more for this woman. I really wish I could bring people together to support this woman. But you know, I'm just one person. But at the end of the day, I'm doing what I can. And this is why I have you as my friend, my brother, my sister. Me, I don't see you as a subscriber. I see you as part of a family. In this family, we are here to cause a change. And I know and believe that I never even asked or I never felt like opening an account for us to donate to this woman. But most of you in the comment section were like, So you know what I'm gonna ask of you guys today? The link is in the description. If it's a dollar, if it's anything that you can do to support, just do it. But also, if you think you can provide anything to the family, being food, being, I mean anything, please, let's do this together. I think with $10,000, we can sort out all the issues this woman is facing because I think we need to help her live sustainably. So, for what I'm seeing, $10,000 is enough. I'm so sorry for doing this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're gonna be part of the people who are gonna raise the $10,000. The links are in the description. My name is Watermaya, an annoying village boy on a journey to change the negative narrative of Africa. And a big shout out to Connect with Uganda for taking it upon yourself to follow up with Mama Uganda's story. I really appreciate you all. You all need to check out the link in the description and go subscribe to her channel. Please, it's by force to support this beautiful lady on this YouTube channel. Please do me a favor, subscribe, help us hit 1.5 million. And believe me or not, there are more videos to come. I'll see you all in the next one.